Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to go over how to set up and configure uh, media files so we can handle user uploaded files in our Django project. For this project, we're going to work with the previous files we've been working with for the series. So I have it open and running right now, and I'm on the artist create view, the generic view we created earlier in, the, in a previous video. And I have this form here. Obviously, I've not spent any time making it look pretty, but it does work. And now let's go ahead and go over how to set up and handle user uploaded files. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is we want to look at our models.py. There is one thing we can set up here, which is this upload to field. And I'm going to get back to this in a minute. But just remember, this is here from the previous video, and this will affect how things are saved later. Uh, but we'll get to this in a, in a little bit. First, let's go ahead and set everything up in our settings.py file. So if you look at our settings.py and you come all the way to the bottom, you'll see where we put our static URL or our static files settings before from the previous video, we're going to go ahead and add a few more settings here. Uh, first we'll add is a media URL. So we'll go ahead and add in all caps media underscore URL. This will be set to equal to slash media slash. And this needs to be set up with this type of path for development for our development server, but things will change when we go to production, which we'll talk about later. The next setting we'll need to set is a media root. So once again, all caps, media underscore root. And this will be the full path to our uploads folder. So we're going to reuse this uploads folder right here, but I have things in it from previous videos. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this folder right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and recreate a new uploads folder. So in the root here, I'll create a new folder. And I'll save this as uploads. Okay, so we want to go ahead and make our path go to this folder that we just created, which is in the root slash uploads. So we can get to that by going base underscore dir, which is defined up here at the top of the project, base dir. And this will go just to the root of our project. So to get to the uploads folder is just slash uploads. So I can put a slash and in quotes, put uploads. And that will take us to the uploads folder. And, set, and this will have our media files configured to upload into this folder that we just created right here. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. The next step is to configure Django to serve these media files from this folder for our development server. So we jump into the Django docs here. I'd have it open. If you just search Django static files, you should find this page. Um, it's just right here, how to slash static files. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this link in the description so you can get it there as well. But if you scroll down here, it talks about serving static files during development, but it also talks about serving files uploaded by a user during development. And so here you can read about here, we set our media root and our media URL already. What we can do is we can add this line right here to configure our development server to serve these files. But you'll notice right here, it says this is not suitable for production use. For some common deployment strategies, see deploying static files. I will also put a link to this in the description as well. But once you go to production, you'll need to come down here and figure out what you're using. If you're using Nginx or Apache or something else, uh, this will give you uh, some instructions of how to deploy static files or media files from a production server. And other common uh, hosting platforms, uh, you know, DigitalOcean or Heroku, they have their own uh, articles and tutorials about how to do that. So whatever you need, you'll need to find that when you actually deploy these files in production. So just wanted to note that, that this will not work in production only on development. Let's go and add this line to our urls.py. So back in our code, we go to urls.py. Uh, this is the file from last time. And we had this static setting, static URL, static root from last time. I'm gonna replace this for this video. If you need static files, you'll need to keep that. But for this example, we're focusing just on the user uploaded files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another static function like we did last time. And actually, before I go any further, this is already imported from the previous video. You need to make sure you have these two imports if you're not following along with, those, with the other videos. Make sure you import settings and you import static as well. And then once we have those imported, we can go ahead and add this line here. So we can add settings, media URL, and then document root, our media root. So we'll go ahead and first put settings.media underscore URL, and then put a comma, and then put document underscore root equals settings dot media underscore root and that will fix it so it serves the static files in development okay perfect now we're not quite ready to serve any static files 
The next big thing we need to do is we need to make sure our HTML template can handle sending files and not just plain text. So inside of our artist underscore form to HTML, this is the form that's in the view for this. So this is the actual HTML for this form right here. On the form tag here, we need to add one thing. Uh, but like this, it will actually submit the files we upload. To allow it to handle the files, we add one more line here in our form tag. What we want to add here is enc type equals, and then in quotes here, we'll put multipart slash form dash data. And that's what, this will allow us to handle file uploads inside of our form. So just make sure this is here. Uh, this is very easy to forget and it just won't work. You won't get any error message. So if you're having issues, make sure this is here. Uh, this is very important to have on your form. Okay. And now that we have the form can handle submit file uploads, we make sure our view can handle it as well. So this really kind of depends on what type of view you're using. In our case, for this form, we have this create artist generic view. And with this generic view, all of this is already handled for us. So there's nothing we need to do if you're using a generic view like, like we are here. If you're not using a generic view, so for example, down here, I have this artist manual create, so I'm mainly creating it with this view class view. You'll, you'll need to add one more thing here. So on the form instance, inside of our post method, we pass in the request.post, but we also want to go ahead and pass in the request.files. So since we upload some files, we want to have those available in our form as well. So we'll need to make sure we import both the request.post and the request.files. If you were to have a function view where you did if request.post or request.method is equal to post, you know, create a form like this inside of that if statement, you want to make sure you do the same thing, pass in the files and the post requests inside of your form that you created. But that should be it to handle the files inside of your views. Now with this done, we should be ready to go ahead and try this out. So when we upload a file, it should go into this uploads folder. Let's go ahead and test this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just refresh this page here. Check our terminal, make sure everything's still running and look at everything looks good. It does, okay. Let's go ahead and create something. I'll just create a user, kind of whatever, doesn't really matter. And we'll come down here to the profile picture and download and we'll choose two files. Okay, there we go. I choose two thumbnails from previous videos. I'm gonna go ahead now and submit this and see what happens. So we submitted it, it submitted it successfully because it redirected us back to the home page, which is how we had our view set up. Let's go ahead now and check our folder for any new files. And you'll see here, we have an uploads folder. Inside the uploads folder, we have another uploads folder. And then we have both our pictures right here. Now, why is there two uploads folders? Well, if we look in our models.py, you'll notice we have an upload to field. And this is another thing we can use to configure how our files are organized within our media root. So since we have our media root in our settings set to base dir slash uploads, it's going to put everything inside of this uploads folder. But since we also have an upload to uploads, it's going to put everything in this that's uploaded through this profile picture field or this download field to go inside an uploads folder inside of our media root. And so it just so happens that the, those both have the same names. So it's putting in uploads and then other uploads in our files. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, let's go ahead and go through a quick example to kind of illustrate this a little better. This upload to field is not necessary. So I can go ahead and delete that on this one. And now this should go just to the root of our media root, which will be inside this first uploads folder. Now for the second upload to, I'm going to change this to be um, artists underscore downloads. So now there should be an uploads folder slash another folder called artists underscore downloads. And then all of our download field files should show up inside of that subfolder. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and delete this inner uploads folder just to kind of clear out our media uh, folder. So we just have an empty folder. So it's very easy to see what changed from these changes here in our models. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything's saved. I'm going to jump back inside of my uh, code here. I'm going to go ahead and create one more artist. So I'll create one more artist here. We can put, kind of put whatever here. It doesn't really matter. And also, if you've not been following along, all this code is available in the description as well if you want to get this and go through this with me. 
Okay, I'll choose two more files here. So our signals PNG file is going in the download, and our reviews 8 is going into our profile picture. Let's go ahead and submit this, and then jump back into our code here. And you'll see here the reviews 8, which we uploaded into this profile picture, which does not have any upload to field here, goes just to the root of our media root. And then any file here put inside of our download field has this upload to artist underscore downloads. And now we have this artist underscore downloads folder, and inside of there we have our signals.png that we uploaded to this field. And so this this uh, folder here does not exist. It will automatically create it for us, which is super nice. So what we have here now is we have our files organized based on what field they're put into. So this artist downloads has the signals, and that's in and the profile pictures here in the root. Of course, we could go ahead and put an upload to profile pics on this profile picture field, and it would have another folder for profile pics, but hopefully that kind of illustrates what that's doing. But that's really it and all it takes to handle user uploaded files in Django. Uh, it's pretty easy and straightforward, so hopefully that helped clear any issues up with that. Um, but that's it for this video. So all the code will be in the description below, as well as links to the documentation and anything else that might be useful. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.